Welcome ladies and gentlemen once again. This is your boy Daddy K and I'm so excited another moment and another good gift of life. You know, God has been so good to everybody and I said uh, especially uh, those of us who are listening to uh, this program right now. And thanks to technology everywhere you are, you can access to the web and even now it's more profound with the 5G. So it don't matter wherever you live, all you have to do is just to lock it on and then bingo, there you go. Not okay. Like I always say, be informed, make a profit, get an option and support. That's why we're giving it back to our community, the best information that we can for everybody to benefit with that. Regardless of whatever is going on right now with the pandemic, we hope that everybody is observing the, the the protocols to this day. And God has been so good to us. I don't wish to go back and forth with that family. Uh, it's awesome. It's pretty awesome. You know, one thing we're going to have this uh, discussion is about uh, life insurance with one and only Chrissy Ocon. So Chrissy Ocon is sitting right in front of me. And we are going to hear what you got to say about the basic needs of how we can get this life insurance, you know, for our family. Uh, living here in the Western is their culture and tradition. So almost everybody is accustomed to it. But what about those of us? Some of them are not, but most of them is their culture and tradition, something that we came to live with it. And most of us also have some basic understanding or knowledge about it, but the rest of us, we don't. That's why I've taken the time to come and then I talk to the man himself to tell us more about it. So, Chrissy, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Uh, in the first place, to begin with, uh, who are you? <laughs> well, um, I am, like you said, Chrissy, also known as Sly. Most people know me as Sly. And um, of course, born in Ghana, uh, Tema, to be precise. And um, <clears throat> I moved down here somewhere uh, in the 90s. And I uh, have been doing insurance uh, for the most part. So um, that is a brief overview of uh, who I am. And Crazy Paul says, come from Tema. So every guy from Tema, if you know him, if you don't know him, blow him up. Yeah, call him and tell him, hey, everybody from the Tamil, the big city, if you go to Ghana, one of the best cities you can find is Tamil. You know, it was designed, everything, just like the Western. So, Tamil folks, catch your boy right here. No doubt. <laughs> yeah, Quincy, yeah, this is very crucial. This is very important. I think I have some few conversations with you prior uh, because of some of the issues that people have brought to my attention. Uh, why... Um, and I find it necessary, you know, to talk to you so you can give us some advice about life insurance. Now, what, how many, or what type of life insurance do we have, or insurances do we have, or do you do? Well, personally, I do um, personal auto, mm -hmm. home, mm -hmm. business insurance, mm -hmm. and of course, life insurance. That is what I, I do, or I saw here as an agent. Um, that said, um, I lay a lot more emphasis on life insurance because I think it is critical, especially we the immigrants. It is something that we take lightly, and I think it's something everybody, every household should be curious about. Everybody, every household should be curious about it. Everybody should be curious about it. Everybody, everybody who has a dependent. Mm -hmm. Everybody who loves somebody. If you love somebody, if you have a dependent, if somebody depends on you, you should you should be curious about life insurance. Wow. Okay. And what about the, the rights of them? Like the home and then the auto too? Well, yes. The autos, the homes, for the most part, are required by the state. And so, for instance, you know, if you're driving around without insurance, you can get into some sort of trouble. If you have a home and the home is not paid for, you gotta have some insurance because the loan 
company would make sure your house is adequately insured. So that is that. Now the life is ours. You don't necessarily have anybody chasing you to get life insurance. And so that is where, for the fact that nobody's chasing us to get it, we let that slide. And in my opinion, that is even more important. I can say without a doubt that the most valuable asset that we have is our families. So how do we ensure the things the state requires us to do and then leave the most valuable assets? The reason I'm very passionate about life insurance. So to your opinion, uh, you think every family should have a life insurance? Everybody, every breathing soul should have, at least have some curiosity about it, ask some questions about it. We have a lot of myths about life insurance and some might be true, some might not be true. But um, our job is to be curious and ask questions and then see if we can debunk some of these myths. Now, what type of life insurance do we have? I can generally say we have just two main types. Okay. We have one that you keep for a specific period of time. Then the other that you keep up to, I would say, 800, 120, if you live that long. So we have a short term and a long term. And those are the two main types of life insurance. And which one do you recommend? Both. Both. Both because mm -hmm. as human beings, we all have you know short-term needs and long-term needs. So for that matter, I don't think you should have. If you buy for a short period of time and you are outlive that uh, period, then you'll be out of it. So does that mean the remaining time you'll be going around without life insurance? That would not be very smart. The reason I say that, you have to have them both. And what about the, um, the life insurance and investment? You know, there are some life insurance with investment too. You, uh, how do you explain that? Well, I, I don't typically um, call that an investment per se. What it is, it's as a feature of a life policy. And I'm thinking you are, if I'm trying to get you correctly, you're thinking about life insurance that grows cash value. Right, yeah. I don't necessarily think that as an investment, I, I take more that more as a feature of the long-term life policy, i.e. Um, we don't want you to die before you benefit. Whilst you are alive, you should be able to you know, benefit from whatever it is you're doing. And so that is what we call the cash value. As you pay your premiums, the policy accumulates some cash value, which you can use to do whatever it is you want to do whilst you are alive. And then when you die, the rest of it is given to your next of kin or your beneficiaries. Okay, well, what are some of the requirements for somebody to have a life insurance? If like, somebody come to you, I need a life insurance, what, what are the requirements? Um, for the most part, it's your health, okay? You, you have to be healthy. And then also age plays a huge role. The older you get, um, the more expensive your policy will get. Um, sex is also another thing. Hmm. Um, females tend to pay much less than males. Um, that Why? Is that is another topic well, for yeah. another day. Maybe, yeah, um, we have to talk about I think it. That, 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 Don't scare with the young man. The, <laughs> the, the main idea is mm -hmm. that um, we have what we call mortality tables. Okay. And those tables suggest that females live much longer than males. So um, maybe it has a lot to do with that. Um, in my opinion, I think men are also more adventurous, would undertake riskier ventures than females. So maybe that is another reason why it is that. That's my suspicion. But for the most part, um, age is a factor, mm -hmm. sex is a factor, mm -hmm. and then also your health, very important. Another reason why we recommend that if it's something you plan on doing, you don't want to wait, okay? As early as two weeks old, when the baby is born, you can get a life policy. Oh, really? Yes. And a toddler? Yes, a toddler. And so life insurance are a product designed for every and anybody. So if you get it early, you have a lot more um, advantage. 
you 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 have you buy it cheaper, mm -hmm. you accumulate a lot more cash, and then that you don't have to worry about having medical issues down the line. So um, my thing has been, if you want to buy it, don't wait, just buy it, because the longer you wait, the more you complicate it. What's the point of waiting to pay more if you have to buy it early and pay less? So. Mm -hmm. And um, what do you need um, in terms of uh, somebody want to acquire a life insurance from you? Do you need uh, a passport, a driver's license, and what should be your status before you can? So I don't, I don't um, treat life insurance like the way I treat auto. If you call me and say, "Hey, Kwesi, I I want a quote," I would just tell you I need X, Y, and Z. Life, I look at it differently, and I approach it differently. So what I do is I need to have a conversation with you. It's not a one size fits all. So we have to talk and find out what your needs are, mm -hmm. find out what you this that you want to do. Um, if it's something you plan on living for your kids, um, if you plan on paying off your home, we all have different needs. The very reason why we have to really talk and you tell me what it is you want to do and then we try to see if we can tailor something around those things. So all what you have to do, you know, listen, pay attention to this conversation. It's very, very important. I think life insurance has been around for a while, and um, we need to be curious about it from whatever Kwesi or Paul is talking right now. Pay attention, and after that, you can holler to him, and we can give you more detailed information. This is... There's a basic fundamentals for you to get the better understanding of why you were living and things you need to do. At the beginning of every year, we have a New Year resolution. Everybody, you know, I want to be this, I want to be that. But we forget that there is going to be a day you may walk out the door and mm -hmm. will not come back. You may not make it back. So we have D.O.B., but we don't know our DOD. <laughs> yeah, I got my man, I got one of my friend, and Minister Charles say to he always say that we have a DOB, but we don't have a DOD. So you got to equip yourself, especially uh, we being a little religiously, you know, we pray every day, you know, God take me to and fro. So it's very, very important. Now, um, if somebody living out of state, can the person be insured and uh, you? Well, so um, I like to say, to me, probably not. I have a few states that I do business in. I do business in Ohio. Okay. I do business in Texas. Mm -hmm. And I do business in um, North Carolina. And this is my home, my home state. Mm -hmm. Now, if anybody approaches me and wants to have um, some questions answered in different states, up some states out of the state that I've mentioned, we can always arrange to get somebody to help you out. Uh, this is important. For me, I think this is something we should take very seriously. And I know we don't. Uh, we don't for various reasons, right? Uh, we've had it all. Um, my wife will kill me. My <laughs> husband will poison me. I mean, we make jokes of all these things, but it is one. No, but are you serious? Are you serious? What are you saying? Well, That's some of the challenges. Some of the challenges. You, we hear right. them, but how serious do we take those? You know, um, I don't think they mean it. Okay. But, um, it looks like a it's, joke. Yeah, but, it's a joke. But right. Sometimes but, you don't know what is in somebody's you mind. Of course, Williams will be the right person <laughs> to talk about this. Of course, Williams. I need. <laughs> well, so so um, I for me, I take it more of a joke, mm -hmm. and that's. Um, emphasizes what I'm saying. We don't have to take this lightly, right? Mm -hmm. This says, if you have anybody depending on you, if you depend on anybody, if you love anybody, there's no reason why you shouldn't have something. And I like that whole idea of we don't know our DOD. Mm -hmm. If yes. we knew that, it would be nice. Mm -hmm. I'll wait till the day before and then go buy me a couple millions of dollars, right? And for that reason, we try to be proactive and try to get something early if we can so we don't have to pay a whole lot now it is something that is very important and i think as a people we have to seriously seriously look into that mm -hmm. so that is some of the challenges that we find of you know, people who just make joke make fun of it behind, behind of the man uh, 
what is the minimum you can you can insure and then the maximum you can insure you well, can insure two million dollars <laughs> and the minimum will be five dollars so people will actually think in between which of that them is them they have to that is a very interesting price. question again it is not a one size fit all mm -hmm. so the reason why we sit and talk this is a very it's not a transactional sale it's a very emotional sale okay that is why i for one take it very seriously i come sit with you and your family and then we brainstorm and then we we um think about what would be best for your family you probably might have a number in your head and then after maybe our little conversation you might realize that the number is too high too low or maybe just about right okay but until we meet and look at your situation we cannot just um, just throw the number out there um, another very important thing is to watch our budget okay we have our bills to pay life insurance for the most part the idea is to pay for a long period of time so for the most part you try not to do something you cannot afford you, you should be able to do something because we are going down the stretch. So don't do so much to the point where it comes to a point. You start scratching your head. You don't want to do that. Um, 50 grand for some people, 25,000. I mean, it varies. It Just varies. get something. It varies. Mm -hmm. So as far as how much the maximum, I, I think if I remember correctly, I think our company, you would be allowed to go up to 10 million dollars oh. and if you think there is a need for you to have more than 10 million you have to make your case and tell us why you think you need more than 10 million so that is the the the, the maximum cap the cap there okay. 10 million yeah. now again if you think there is a need you prove it to us i'm sure we can make make it happen for you if you think you need 10 million dollars or more um you make your case and um i'm sure our underwriters will take a look at it and it will be an exceptional, a very um, uh, <laughs> a, uh, unique case. We we'll take a look at it and see why maybe a kid needs ten million dollars, right? And then we will take it from there. And, and again, now you you mentioned the, the maximum. Now, what about the minimum? I want to know if it's ten dollars. Maybe somebody say, you know, what well, my budget is ten dollars or fifteen dollars. Can it be covered? Um, again, you don't know the minimum. I, I you can, can't. Say, I can cannot. I can't, I can't tell you that. But it's, there is a minimum. Of course, there's a minimum. There's a minimum, there's a minimum. because um, 100 bucks to me probably might not be 100 bucks to you or might not be that impactful to you. So um, we, it's hard to really put numbers on it like that. Okay. You know? okay. so I just put it out there yeah. because some people don't know. You, if some people are just scared of maybe the, the minimum. That's why they might not come or something like that. So when we put the, the idea to, okay, even if you have a minimum, just talk to an agent to tell you exactly what you might need from the side of your family. and. So, so this is how I look at it, right? Um, if, say for instance, the state requires us to get an auto policy or else you maybe go to jail. So what you do is you go around asking for the best rate for your car. I don't see it any different here. You approach an agent, it would be nice to call me, I would love to talk to everybody for life insurance, and then we can see what would best fit your budget. So I would hate to um, monetize this, because this is a big deal. It is a very serious deal. So I, I don't like to even compare buying an auto policy to like a life policy. Okay. For me, the life yeah. is way Wind. out there. Mm -hmm. Cars come and go, don't yeah. they? Yeah. And but we the cannot line. replace our family members. The reason I said that for everybody who loves somebody, if you have folks depending on you, you should be curious about it. Ask questions. Make an appointment. I mean, the way I do it is that if you can talk to me, you don't have to buy. Okay? Get some knowledge and then go... Think about it with your family and see the best you can do. So don't go asking how much is it. No, I I I I look at it differently. 
sit, let's talk about it. And I can guarantee you, I'm not going to push you to say bye, 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 bye. All I need you to do is to at least have some ideas about it, have options, and then make a decision. Have options and make a decision. We'll tell you to quickly upon with the American family insurance. Uh, it has come to the a sense of talking to you about this life insurance due to some of the issues uh, brought up to me and the few I've also heard, especially in our community. This is the very time for you to get this knowledge and make your choice. It is very important, especially this day that we in. It's not, it's not that pretty. It, it's not pretty at all. So we have to be proactive, be, be pro and make sure you talk to my man and Quisi upon, especially the, the Ghanaian family out here. Quisi upon is for everybody. It's not only for Ghanaian family, it's for everybody. But make sure you talk to him about it. And tell my folks, he says he's from Tamil, so tell my folks, try to get him on board and let him talk to you more about it. We, we love a family. Uh, we want them to live peacefully and happily, shoot in case and the eventuality or any circumstances uh, they can survive for some time, right? That is it. That is the whole idea. The, is it, is the, whole the, idea. Survival. Survival. That's is, the whole is, idea. Is, is the survival. Just good. Um, now, uh, f finally, uh, um, what do you want to tell? I know we've said it all, but what do you want to tell the rest of the family? That the importance of other than the importance of life insurance, what would your future look like if you don't have it? Hmm. Good question. So, <clears throat> um, that would be very hard to tell because we don't know what preparations um, people have done or do or will do. We don't know. But the, the, the conventional thing is that people come here, they work, they save. And then in times of need, um, they fall onto their savings and um, make things happen. Now, you and I know it's not very, very easy to save, okay? It's, it's a very difficult thing to save. So, um, like I've always put life on a very high um, level, I've always thought about trying to set some money aside and um, ensure our lives because I, I mean I can't think of any other way than to do this um, put something down we are not saying by any means that two hundred thousand dollars you buy is going to solve all your problems should somebody leave but what we're saying is at least it will make things a little easier Okay, so how come that my observation is that those people who patronize life insurance the most are, I think, those who don't really need it. Those who already have money, affluent and wealthy, are buying life insurance. And then for some of us who need it the most, we are not buying it. There's a disconnect there, and I don't get it. I'm not here to make solutions or raise questions or anything, but you can tell something here that's not, not making sense, okay? The reason I think, no matter how small you can get, just get it. Some people say, hey, you have something at work. Great start. Most of the time, the work policy doesn't belong to you. It's the company's policy. And then they have you on there just as an insured. The reason the moment you leave the job, they take that thing from you. Mm -hmm. So why wouldn't you want to have something for yourself, yourself, that you control? That you review on a uh, regular basis and see this is what I have, this is what I intend to do with it. So, um, as to how things would go when somebody doesn't have it, it can take multiple dimensions. I mean, it's hard, but I think um, generally it's a good thing to have. You have to have it, and it would go a long way to help your surviving, you know, family. family should you should you leave. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you once again. This was your poem, and I'm so excited that we have this conversation. So, 
for you to leave, walk down the street with their any life insurance policy is no is no option. You don't have an option on that. It's risky. So you <laughs> just have to talk to somebody, talk to your insurance agent or which but that is the reason why we're having this conversation. Very important. I said early on that here in the West End or even most of the um, uh, developed countries, it is part of their life. Is as soon as you were born, they know about this. If they don't have it at all, they have industrial life. At least they have an industrial life. But we don't. We have our way, our culture and tradition. We have our way of doing things. But when we come here, this is so important. If you can buy a house worth uh, 100000 up to $500,000, if you can buy that and you will not be insured, then I need to sit down and talk to you <laughs> so I can cook some really Ghanaian love for you. So, <laughs> so Kosi, what is the phone number and then the best time to reach out to you? Um, the best way to reach me will be on my cell phone, um, 678-789-1361. Um, that's my cell phone. And then you can also call um, during work hours, 678-259-4570. Uh, but I'd rather you call my cell phone and then kind of scratch the surface and say, hey, I'm trying to talk to you. When is a good time? And then we can work something out and uh, at your convenience, Sit, we talk, and I'm sure there will be a lot that will come out of our uh, discussion. Okay, so don't forget the number is 678 789 1361. That is his cell phone, he got it all the time. You can see he's a young man, very athletic. Whatever he had, he will respond to your call. And um, I don't know about a young man, he, I mean, you're, 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 because of your athletic physical, I can say. You were young man. You see, sometimes we, we joke with that. Even we can see some really young. I see a lot of uh, Native Americans. You might think they are in their forties, but they are in the sixties. Yeah. yeah, we got they, good they genes, out, right? Yeah, they work out good, and you you can think just like I'm saying now. I might have maybe exaggerated, but you know, forgive me about that. All right. <laughs> okay, so. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again. I'm this your phone with the American Family Insurance. My name is Daddy Cave. We're here to have this field conversation. If you will take this piece of advice, I think it will go a long way and it will prove to your family that you love them. Before we get out of here, are you planning to, I should say you're from Tamagana with this big American Family Insurance, are you planning to go back home? And Because I've seen some people started the life insurance policy home. It wasn't there a couple of years ago, but now you look at, have you planned to go establish something like that to help put people back on? Well, um, I believe Ghana already had something like that right, right, in place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think they have systems in place. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really catching on. There are a lot okay. of people now yeah. buying life insurance. Mm -hmm. And so I believe that companies enterprise a few other insurance companies who are doing a great job. Um, as far as American family is, um, that is way, way above me. So, and I don't really have the resources to go start an insurance company. Uh, mm -hmm. It would be nice to do that, but it's way out of my league. You know? mm -hmm. So yeah. right now, folks here, if they have parents back home mm -hmm. and they want to get something for them, I think they should look into it back home. Um, I know SIC has always been around. Yeah, he's been I there think, for a very long yeah, time. Yeah, Enterprise Insurance, I believe, is mm -hmm. one of the big players in Ghana and a few others. So uh, it starts from being curious and looking into it. Okay. And you'd be amazed by what you find. Okay. So, All right. yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. And the phone number again is 678 one three six one six seven eight seven eight nine one three six one fifty upon our cell phone. You, if you're calling, you can't get them, they will return your call. Um, it's happened, tell you. So, you have that conversation. It is very important. I am just pleading with all the families out there please get some coverage of what is going on right now. And thank you for tuning in right here with Dedicate, the good man and the simple man. I look like I'm from. Tema too, right? You look like I'm from Tema, but I don't I don't believe that. If you know that I'm from Tema, holler at your boy. Thank you very much for being with us and Quincy. 
thank you as always you were so kind and anytime we need you you showed up and do the best you can for us so thank, thank you. you very much thanks for coming thank okay. you so much okay yes man we we'll see you next time thank you for tuning and then share and let your friends and brothers know that this is very important life insurance as long as you live and we driving back and forth on the express we're going to work and back you need that you don't have no excuse get some coverage love your family and god that's all thank you very much daddy k